if you've tried the relatively new Twitch feature allowing you to feature clips, you'll probably have noticed by now that although it is a really cool concept, it actually removes the recent broadcast section from your account. Now, as much as I would like to feature clips that I've created or that my community has created, I'd much rather not be forced to sacrifice my recent broadcast section. However, as you probably noticed by now, once you actually feature any clips on your account, for some reason, Twitch has made it extremely tedious to actually remove the feature clips and get the recent broadcast section back. So today I'll be making a very short and simple to follow tutorial teaching you how to do that. First, we're gonna be starting on the Twitch page where we're gonna click on our icon on the top right hand side of the screen. Once we've done that, we're then gonna to go to the creator dashboard. From here, we're then gonna to go to content and then press clips. After that, all you gotta do is click the unfeature this clip button beside any of the clips that you've featured. Now, if you're a creator like me who has been doing Twitch for many, many, many years, you probably are gonna have a lot of clips that are maybe featured. And if that's the case, don't worry about it at all. To make your life a little bit easier in this case, I'd highly recommend going to filters and then selecting only featured clips. As you will probably guess, this will only show you the featured clips on your account, making it super simple to click the unfeature this clip button on each and every one of them. Once you've unfeatured every single clip though, then you can go back to your Twitch page. And as you'll see, your recent broadcast section will have reappeared. Hopefully this short tutorial managed to help you and thank you for watching.